What is going on, guys? I'm back again to talk again about Lenovo's Chromebook Duet. I feel like we've had enough time now to really get a good feel for this device and enough to give you my thoughts overall on the device and to give you what I think are the five best reasons to buy the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. For anyone who doesn't know, the biggest selling point for this device is simply the price. This thing can be had for less than $300. I've seen it as low as $250. And for that price, it is an incredibly compelling device. So let's do a quick walk around of the thing. Basically what you get in the box is what you see here. Everything comes in the box. You get the keyboard, you get the stand, you get the tablet. Let's take this guy apart and I'll show you how all this works. So the keyboard attaches magnetically through these pogo pins very similar to the surface line and it's hard to really demonstrate this through a video but you've got to give it a nice little tug to pull it off it doesn't fall off super easily i have had it in this position before maybe i've tossed it onto the couch and it's, it's popped off a little easier than i would like but you know again it's less than 300 dollars. the keyboard is pretty decent the, the the scale is not too bad i mean this is a 10 inch device so you know can't really expect a whole lot. Trackpad is, is not bad. Decently clicky. The keys are a little mushy. I'm a little bit of a keyboard snob. Uh, so, you know, take this with a grain of salt. But the keyboard, I don't love. The travel is okay, but there's just something about it. It's a little mushy, and I just never seem to get where I'm typing confidently. It's a little too soft. I would like it to be a little bit more resistant um, for me to really feel comfortable. I don't like this little, uh, f this kind of soft area here. This makes it feel a little wobbly when it's attached. You kind of get this movement that it was on the Pixel Slate as well. Don't love that, but overall, it's free. It comes with the device. You know, what? what do you... What, what do you want? It's fine. When you flip it over, this is sort of the strangest thing about it. This, the, uh, the stand here, which, you know, is a stand. It works like a stand. I'm over here typing nonsense on this thing. Um, it attaches to the back magnetically. Let me turn it off. I stop pressing buttons. It just pops off. That's it. That's all there is to it. Attaches on, kind of snaps into place. Relatively easy doesn't come off super easily, but it does pop off. That's all it is, okay? It's fabric, it's hard, and it has a kickstand. There's a little notch right there to grab a hold of to pop out the kickstand. My wife had some trouble locating that at first, but um, it's there and it's, it's pretty stiff. I haven't had any issues with it closing down without me wanting it to. Works just fine. Then what you have left is just the tablet. And guys, I gotta tell you, it's solid. It feels good in the hand. It looks good. I like this two-tone thing they've got going on. The bezels aren't the smallest, but they're not the biggest. You know, it's it, and I think that's that's an appropriate amount of space to hold on to. As a tablet, this thing's really good. The fit, the finish, pretty much everything is really solid. It's pretty basic. On the bottom. Pogo pins, little, you know, uh, dude that lines up with the keyboard. It's got a couple of little, couple of little pegs here that holds it in place, helps guide it into place. On the flip side, you have a USB type C. Yay. I wish there were two, wish there was no on the other side, but you know, whatever. It's $300. USB type C, power, volume rockers, camera, camera. That's it. That's all you need. That's all you're getting. But guys, for, you know, like I said, as low as $250, it's about as good as you could possibly ask for in terms of a value proposition. Another great thing about the Lenovo Chromebook Duet for me is actually the size. It's really small. It's actually smaller than I expected it to be. When I got it in, took it out of the box, I was kind of shocked because I have been used to using my Surface Pro 7, which feels like a, a behemoth by comparison. Don't compare this thing to something like the Surface Pro 7. Compare it to something like the Surface Go because they are very different in size. 
But by virtue of that, you want to throw this cheap little thing in your bag, take it with you. It's perfect for that. It's super portable. This thing's, you know, it's small, but this is smaller. Well, you ask yourself, well, what am I going to do with a tiny little tablet like this? Well, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Personally, I think that the the idea of 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 ebooks and so forth on this thing quite quite good, you know? I mean, you've got You've got Google Play Books, you've got your audio books, you've got all sorts of things you can do with this thing being this small. This is like the perfect throw it in your bag, take it with you for your lunch break, pop it out, watch some Netflix or some YouTube, whatever, read a little bit of a book. Absolutely perfect for something like that. Another great thing you can do with the Duet is some light gaming. Now, I've posted two videos already about emulators and about native Android games. And it's pretty solid, guys. In fact, look, you take this thing, you slap it onto the back, you pop out your kickstand, you grab something like a little, you know, N30 Pro, you pair it up, you prop it up on the table, load up some emulators, and you have got a phenomenal little 10-inch portable gaming device for cheap. Is it going to play everything on the top specs? No. Are you going to emulate the GameCube? No. But can you play most everything else? Can you play, you know, Game Boy Advance, N64, PlayStation 1? Absolutely. And it's going to do a good job. And when you pair it with a controller like that, it's going to be great. Number four is just the screen. This thing is a 1920 by 1200 display. So you basically got a 1080p display that's a little bit taller. So you get a little bit more room, which I'm a fan of. I'm a big fan of the four by three aspect ratio. We're not quite there, but we are a little bit taller. It's 400 peak nits, which is decent. It's totally serviceable. Outside, it's not phenomenal, but I mean, you know, crank that sucker up and it's going to blow out my camera. You know, that, that ought to tell you something. It's a pretty bright little screen and it's, it's a good looking screen. It's sharp. It's clear. The colors are vibrant, but not overblown. Solid, solid screen. I haven't mentioned the speakers. There are two up top. They're stereo. They're fine. They're not super loud, but they're perfectly serviceable. And last but not least, battery life. This thing is a battery champ the first i think 10 days almost might have been between a week and 10 days after we got it full of charge and then used my wife carried this thing around took it to work did whatever she wanted to do with it and she did not charge it until at least after one week this thing is going to get over 10 hours of sustained use and in standby forever evidently this thing can just last forever compare that to my surface pro 7 and it's going to kick the crap out of it Pretty impressive battery life. So you don't really have to worry about this thing. You're going to charge it when you need to charge it here and there. Not a big deal. And it's USB-C, so your phone charger is probably going to work just fine. So there you go. Lenovo managed to make one of the best cheap devices I've seen in a really long time. The Chromebook Duet is rock solid. And for the price, it really is hard to beat. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments below. Have you already bought one? Have you decided to buy one now? I'd love to hear what you plan on using it for if you're gonna buy one. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs. If you love the video, a sub will be incredible. Until next time, stay nerdy, my friend.